Hello and welcome to the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. This is Ujwal, one of the brand ambassadors for Dress My Craft. And before we get started with the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so that you don't uh, miss out on any updates. So today we will be creating a scrapbook layout using this new collection called Whispering Love. Um, I love that it has a mix of bold, uh, bold patterns as well as that um, the signature feel, the text script and beautiful florals uh, in this collection. So I'm just going to flip through the papers here once for you so that you can see how beautiful all the papers are. And as I mentioned, it's a mix of beautiful and shabby. So you will see text scripts, but you will also see polka dot patterns and ombre pattern papers. And this one with hat, which has all the alphabets, that there is this newspaper one. And again, more polka dots. Um, so a really beautiful paper bag that would work for a variety of different projects, love theme projects, uh, baby theme projects as well. And very versatile. And we will be using this today to create our scrapbook layout. I also have the coordinating motif sheet which I've cut out and I like keeping them the cutouts in a ziplock bag and then I just uh, put it together with the paper packs so when I, whenever I'm creating I have those together. The next thing that we will be using today are these two beautiful punches. One is called the flower chain punch and the other is called the dotted heart punch and they are both new and I decided to go with this particular paper because it has all the patterns and I felt like I could showcase all the beautiful patterns in the paper pack with this sheet. So I'm using the Dress My Craft uh, paper trimmer here and I cut out the borders. They were one inch each so I've cut them out into strips here and you can see we get a glimpse of the whole paper pack with these strips. Now we are going to use our punches. So what I'm uh, trying to do here is uh, I will be punching out all of this, these strips and create some beautiful border strips and these punches are very high quality and really easy to use. All you have to do is align the punch, um, align the paper to the punch and then just uh, pull the lever, the push the lever actually and then you uh, there are patterns on both sides. Um, just keep aligning the paper to the pattern and just keep moving the strip to uh, get a seamless beautiful border strip. So these border punches are great for adding details and creating accents for your projects and you can see how lovely that looks. So I'm going to do this with both the punches so I'm uh, dividing like half the I think there are about 12 of those strips and I'm going to punch all of these using these two punches. Once our borders are all punched and uh, you know ready in strips we are going to pick a base paper uh, for our layout so I uh, went with this green one I thought it looked really nice and the colors uh, were coming out nicely uh, on this one and uh, I trimmed the strips down to 10 inches in length so that it will fit in the center of um, our base layout leaving a two inch border or rather a one inch border on each side so in between I was actually playing around with uh, the idea of having a plain paper uh, underneath as a base and I went with it I was experimenting and this is what I do uh, there's a lot of process involved before uh, completing a project so I thought I'll just add some pink splatters to go with the pink in the papers but um, at the end I did not like it so I went back to my original idea of using the green paper. So you can see I am just um, arranging the strips here on this paper which will which eventually I will cut out uh, into a 10 inch by 10 inch square and then we will use that um, onto our uh, green beautiful pattern paper that we picked from the Whispering Love collection. And if you look closely, you will see that I'm just adding a very tiny thin line of glue to attach the strips to the paper. And that is because I want my embellishments, uh, you know, uh, to tuck inside or tuck in between these uh, borders um, and just to, you know, add a more cohesive look, not hanging uh, on top. They are like, they would feel like they're inside the, coming out from inside the border strips. 
I hope you got the idea of what I'm trying to explain here. It's so difficult to put it into words. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that you got the point. Here I was a little short on the strips so I just uh, used the leftovers from uh, the trimming that I had done earlier. So I just used all the leftovers here and uh, just built a 10 inch by 10 inch square. And then I realized that I did not like it on the sheet so I uh, took out my trimmer and trimmed it again to 10 inches by 10 inches. So once I trimmed out uh, this piece to 10 inches by 10 inches, I added a lot of stitching um, on the borders using my sewing machine and I left the threads hanging, uh, the extras hanging and I think that adds to the whole look. And now I'm just using my scissors to roughen up the edges of this a little bit just to kind of add more shabbiness to the layout. Um, it just kind of refines uh, the edges um, that's how I feel so I just use that and that's a photograph that I just used uh, I'm using it's a free printable I got off the internet and I'm just um, I just printed it out using my printer and now I'm going to play around with my embellishments so this is the motif sheet as I mentioned this is a coordinating motif sheet for whispering love and uh, this is the part where I take a million years to assemble and to decide what I want wear. So I'm just going to put on some nice music here and you can enjoy the process of how I embellish the layout. Once I glued everything down, I also added one final stitching all across that 10 by 10 square and that is it. Uh, simple and cute and I love how it turned out. The papers are really really beautiful and they shine uh, through and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like uh, the video and share it with your friends and of course subscribe to our channel and click on the link, uh, the bell button so that you get the updates. Thank you so much for watching today and have a great day.